What's up, you rock stars? Quick message from Yancey's backyard. We're gonna do a garden tour. You know, everybody has that thing in their life that just fills their love tank. Other than my wife and my kids, there's certain things I like. I like to build furniture. I'm a wild, crazy man with ADD going 90 miles an hour. There's certain things that just fill my love tank and slow me down a little bit. That is woodworking and gardening. I want to show you my garden. We're just going to do a little tour. So this is my green beans and okra. These are, these are PVC pipes. Look at my melon. My melon down here. Oh, man. This is, see the gladiolas? The gladiolas are starting to pop. But I'm a bulb freak. I love bulbs. You got to stick with me here. If you're not into gardening, maybe I'll, maybe I'll, I'll spark an interest in you. There's some more gladiolas. They're so beautiful. So... I always tell people that are getting into gardening, here's a couple rules. Where I, I, you know, like my wife, when she gets on the bookstore, she can't leave the bookstore without buying a book. And everybody's got this thing. Maybe you like into clothing or something. Well, if I go to Lowe's or Home Depot, I'm going to sneak on over to the garden section and I'm going to buy, it might just be one little pack of seeds, a dollar or something. I'm going to buy something and I come back and I just kind of saunter over to the backyard and I plant it. Always buy perennials. If, if you're in the garden, you know perennials come back. Like we're about a zone seven. Right in the zone seven. If you study the zones, like up in Alaska and in northern countries, like zone four, zone five, and then you even get into zone three. Well, I'm a zone seven. A lot of stuff will come back here. But no matter where you live, there's certain things that are perennials. Like my grapes here. Look at the grapevine. They're just beautiful. I, I'm, I'm really into planting things that provide fruit and vegetables because we have we have people over to a little pool party i like the kids to be able to get out and grab some strawberries and grapes and even some vegetables and just munch on them in the backyard but buy perennials don't buy annuals they're not going to come back it's there's something special about springtime when i get all geeked up spring come out and like what's popping out of the ground get your hands in the dirt and smell the dirt it's amazing Look at these roses. Ah, oh. the family we brought, you know, we bought this house. Was, uh, I trained their son back in football and they had a few things growing back here. I was like, I, you know, we had a relationship. It's like, I'm not, I'm gonna leave everything that was already here. Look at these, look at these lilies. Look down in there. Oh, that's good stuff. Wait, let me take you over here and show you this. Uh, we got fresh lettuce growing over here. Fresh lettuce. I mean, we will have a, pretty soon, we will have a salad a night from the lettuce beds here. This is Sumatra orange. If you live like where, it, where it's, you know, you live down in Florida where almost guaranteed no freezes, all, all kinds of oranges will grow. But if, you, if you're in that zone six on seven, Sumatra oranges grow really well. I'm telling you right now, that right there, that blossom smells so good. This will be strawberry soon. That's a blueberry. A little blackberry over there. This is a rose of Sharon that I propagated from the big mama rose of Sharon over here. I'll show you. Yeah. See, this is, let me show you these rose of Sharon buds. Oh, yeah. She's about to, let me find them. This is one of the most beautiful trees ever. Okay, you see that little guy right there? In about two weeks, this will be the most beautiful purplish orange flowers that you've ever put your eyes on. I'm telling you, know, it may not be plants for you, but you gotta find something that just slows you down. Woodworking and, and gardening. Look at these trumpet vines. That's yellow, yellow trumpet vines. I'm like an old, I'm like an old grandpa out here. I can, the more I come out here and I snip on things and grow, I'm Mr. Miyagi. Oh man, I love succulents. I lived in San Diego for a long time. And so, this is, these are all succulents. Some of these two that I brought from San Diego. Snuck, I snuck them across the line. I think that might even be semi-legal, but I did it. Look at that. Beautiful. 
fresh mint. I'm a sucker for fresh mint. I like a, I like a vodka tonic every now and then. Once in a blue moon. And fresh mint's very good. Let me show you something here. You take this. I, love, I do that every day. Every single day. This is special. This is my wife's herb garden here. We got some basil and uh, cilantro. Couple of there. Salvia. I love salvia. That smells so good. The rosemary. You can just bathe in that. Just run your arms and legs there. Keep the mosquitoes away. Oh, we got hydrangea going here soon. I could go for about 15 minutes, but long story short, find something that brings you peace. Whatever it is. And, and just come out. You know, find something that makes you slow down and just saunter sometimes. When I'm back here, you guys know I'm a wild crazy man. I'm going 90 miles an hour all the time. But when I get back here, I slow down. I unwind. I make my two, I just make my rounds. That's where I shoot a lot of my videos. I'm at peace back here. So maybe I inspired a few of you into gardening. The tip of the day, when you go buy something, buy a perennial. It'll come back at you. I don't care if you're planting on your balcony at the apartment. It'll come back. That just simply means that it's usually going to come back in bulbs. Bulbs are so stinking easy. They'll make you look like you're a rock star gardener. They just come back in about every three or four years, dig them up and break them into a bunch of pieces. Like, like look at these gladiolas here. See that? Look at that. I could dig those up at the end of this year's bloom season, break them up. Put them in six, seven different spots. Look at me. It's like, oh, my wife comes out. Oh, you got more gladiolas this year. It's, it's real. It's real easy. Right, there's nothing special about it. You guys reach out if you have any questions. I've been gardening for a long time. My mom got me into it. My grandma. Oh, man. I love it. It's so peaceful. There's something about something popping up out of the soil. I love y'all. Thank you for tuning in. I was hoping this would be like three or four minutes, but I just love chatting with y'all. Oh, be good. Good day to be alive, my friends. Much love from the Culp family to your family. You're all beautiful people.